Hey guys, happy Thursday. I hope you're all having a really good day today. Today I have a super exciting video for you guys. I know I've been telling you for a few days now that something really special was in the works. Excuse me, I have an itch. And today's the day. So I wanted to share this with you guys. This was sent to me by Influencer, and it is a Vox box. Um, this one was sent out with Makeup Forever products in it. And when I got the email that they were sending me this box, you guys, I was beside myself because I love getting Vox bo box boxes. I love doing reviews for them. But to get sent makeup, especially Makeup Forever, which is a brand that I both know and love and like to have an opportunity to review these products for free and talk to you guys about them was literally like a dream come true. I've never actually gotten to do that before, um, not for something as wonderful as this. So let's unbox it together. And then I thought I could swatch them maybe on my hand and on my lips. Um, my lighting's pretty good in here today, I'm thinking. So hopefully they'll show up true to color. So Makeup Forever recently reformulated their lipsticks. Um, I believe they retail for $22 a piece. And these are the Artist Rouge lipsticks. Um, I've had a few of the old ones before. I've used them. I've never like had a habit of them so this is kind of like a first experience for me too and they're repackaged and they're amazing so look at this this is the inside of the Vox box and they packaged it really beautifully um yeah I did cheat and open it earlier so it'd be easier right now but it was taped with this makeup forever sticker and then under that with the black tissue there was this card that says introducing artist rouge collect artist rouge collection Show-stopping color, endless creamy comfort, spectacular long wear. So this is a collection of 45 shades. There's 31 creams and 14 mattes in the collection. And there's a picture on the back of just a few of them. And they all look so gorgeous to me. And then, if we keep digging in here, you guys, open that up. And look, there's three lipsticks in there. Three full-size Makeup Forever lipsticks. I was so pleased. I was so pleased. They're just, that's the coolest thing ever. Like seriously, the coolest thing. It made my day when I had the email that said these were coming to me. So, let's get into the colors, you guys. Let's, let's, let's play with makeup. First one I have to show you is, um, oh, and these are all three of them are creams. They did not send me any mattes. They sent me three cream finishes. The first one is number C404. They don't have like word names on the packaging. It just has the letter and then the numbers. So this is C404. And this is what the packaging looks like. Um, one thing I have to say about the packaging, which it is beautiful. It's got their Makeup Forever logo carved into it there. Um, and it's really classy packaging, and this one is just like a true, true red. Like it doesn't seem to have much of an orange or a blue undertone. Look at how the light hits that lipstick. Gosh, it's so beautiful. It's like plastic almost. But my one gripe is if you don't really give it to it, it won't close all the way. And I'm afraid that like someone would just do that and like then this would just come right off. But if you snap it on there, you're good to go. So I know it starts sounds kind of crazy to start with the red lipstick for swatching, but we're just going to go ahead and do that. I do have a little bit of um, other lipstick left over, so let's see what I can get off. And we'll see what I can do for you guys in terms of swatches. These might not be the best swatches ever. So first I'm going to swatch it on my hand, and I haven't touched these at all. They're untouched, so this is my first impression too. Um, this one, ooh really pigmented look at that that's just one swipe so am I gonna use you guys as a mirror I feel like that'd be creepy I'll use my compact as a mirror let's try on C404 oh wow it's really pretty and it applies really nicely there's barely any drag it's really creamy it's not a perfect swatch by any means, but I'm not going out with it. Um, I'm just going to show it to you guys. So that is C404. I guess now that I have it on, it does seem to come off a little bit more orange toned than the reds that I'm usually used to. Or maybe I just have too much bronzer on to pull off this color right now. Maybe it's more like a winter pale girl sort of shade, but I definitely don't dislike it. So what do you guys think of this one? This is C404. Looks like it's just a true red maybe slightly orangey, but really it's like, I feel like it's not really orange or red. I said that a few times, but it's not super blue based. I mean, orange or blue. 
Hello, Jackie. Anyway, okay, so that's the first color. Let's see if I can get it to come off my lips. See, real smart starting with the red one. <clears throat> so how are you guys doing? I wish this was like live, like Periscope almost, because then you guys could be talking while I was doing this. And instead of me editing it out, I won't, because I'm lazy. And other people probably would. So this is all the behind-the-scenes stuff that you guys wouldn't see. If somebody more motivated, we're making this video for you. I love you all, and I'm so glad you're here. Okay, the next color that we have here is C211. C211. I feel like I'm playing bingo now. Same packaging, same deal. This one is a kind of mauve rosy taupe color. Um, definitely a really wearable everyday shade. Oh, swatch it on the hand first. Duh. I'm so bad at this, you guys. Also super opaque. That's just one swipe right there. And on the hand, it does look a little more pink than I was imagining it would look. So let's see what it looks like on the lips. Hmm. And then it looks different yet on the lips. On my lips, it kind of reminds me of Melted Fig from Too Faced. It has a little bit of a purple undertone, so definitely has that mauve, mauve look I was talking about. But yeah, so this one I feel like looks like everything I wear all the time. This one's absolutely beautiful. It is a very, very wearable shade. Um, I can certainly see myself wearing this one on a regular basis. Um, it is just kind of like a neutral pink with a purplish undertone. That's a lot of colors. It's like a mauve, and it's on my lips. You guys can probably see it. So that is C211 right there. I like that. That's pretty. I would just leave that on right now even. It's like super duper wearable. All right, I can't wait to show you guys the last one. Kissy. <clears throat> Let's get to somewhere. I hear my dogs romping out there. They're like insane. I should have brought them in and tried the lipstick on them, but then they couldn't say it wasn't tested on animals. Okay, and then the last shade I have here is C502. This one, oh my gosh, you guys. This one is the most amazing gray lavender ever. Can you see that? Oh, it's so pretty. Depending on the lighting, it looks more gray or more purple. But let's see what it looks like on the skin. So here it is swatched on my hand. Oh my goodness, this is going to be extreme. It's very, very purple. Let's put this on my lips and see what I look like. At least it's opaque. I wonder if this is supposed to be like a lipstick topper, like to use to like change up the colors of your other lipsticks. kind of feel like it is. I feel like if I mix this with other shades, it would be more flattering and by itself because I'm not a 14 year old girl. That's fun. But yeah, that's what I'd probably do with it, honestly, to be practical. I don't think I could wear it like this. What do you guys think? Am I the kind of girl who can wear light grayish lavender lipstick and look like I'm supposed to be taking myself seriously right now because that's what I'm doing. I'm just going to leave this on for the rest of the video because that's the last color I swatched. I was saving it for last because it's so different. So those are the three colors that I was sent for consideration by Makeup Forever and Influencer. Um, a huge, huge thank you to both of them for giving me the opportunity to do this and for selecting me for the campaign because it has been the most fun one I have participated in yet. I am beside myself at the fact that I got these. Like, what a beautiful thing. What a very beautiful thing. Even if this color makes me look a little bit like a frog princess or like, you know, the Bride of Frankenstein. Um, I really think it's meant to be mixed with the other shades, and I really think that the other two are very wearable. And it's a fantastic collection. Um, based on my first impression, they're creamy, they're hydrating, um, the color selection is phenomenal. They'll be flattering on tons of different skin tones, and they're fun, and the quality is there. 
and I would say they are well worth the price of admission. So with that, you guys, I'm going to end this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you'd like. Um, we do all kinds of makeup related things on my video, on my video. I can't even with English today. We do all kinds of makeup related things on my channel. We also do other stuff. Um, I answer personal questions. I talk about anxiety and feelings and life and I promise it gets better for anyone who's wondering, but I'm going to cut this short because this is supposed to be about the lipsticks. So I love you all. I thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.